Hello guys, today I want to discuss one of my previous tweets or in fact poll on Twitter discussing three options to pass parameters from controller to the views. And what do you think option A, B or C? Which was the most popular among my Twitter followers if you haven't seen that poll? Let's scroll down and these are the results. Again, options above and results below. And this is one of the best examples, best illustrations of the principle called it depends and it's a personal preference in coding in general, in programming. I'm in fact even saving that Twitter link, Twitter poll, and I will reply in the future to people who ask a question where I answer it depends or it's your personal preference. And this is the best illustration for that. So different people chose absolutely different options and they're all valid. But in this video, let's discuss the comments, what people said, why they prefer one or another, and what are even other options beside those A, B, and C. So probably in this specific example, option C looks more logical because, well, it's one line of code instead of two lines of code. And also it doesn't have a variable roles. So in terms of optimization for the shorter code, option C is the winner. But as always, all the advice, all the tips depend on the context. In this context, in this example, we have only all, so query is not more complicated, rows is a short variable name, there are no other variables, and with those assumptions changed, option C wouldn't be that pretty anymore. Example, if you have role where something order by something, so this would be much longer line than to the right, and wouldn't be that readable anymore and not preferable. So the general thought is that in simplified examples, sometimes you would prefer one approaches, but in real life examples with much more complicated structure, it would be a totally different approach. So beware when you're asking for advice, try to get closer in that advice to your specific scenario, your specific situation. Don't ask just generally, how you do things in Laravel. It depends. Next, let's discuss compact here. Compact roles is a method from PHP. It's not even Laravel, just to make the work with arrays shorter. So instead of defining roles, roles with the same variable name, instead of this structure, we can use compact. And in this case, it doesn't get much shorter, but if you have multiple variables, two or three or four, compact is much shorter and it may fit on one line with all the variables instead of listing the repeating variables. But a few people on Twitter honestly disliked the compact. For example, Pascal told I would avoid compact at all times. And there was another similar comment. So why? Compact is my personal favorite. I use that a lot, but I do see it's kind of danger or risk because you don't have the variable name here. So then later, for example, if you want to search for variable in all your project or the file, you search for dollar roles, and this instance wouldn't be found. So if you're doing something like multi-replace or search for variables or something like that, this is a risk that this variable will not get found. This is probably the only downside of compact I see, and personally, I haven't encountered this practically in my experience. What do you think? shoot in the comments below. Also, I want to show two more ways in addition to those three that were pointed on Twitter. So you can also do return view with and then pass the parameters as array. It's almost the same syntax as this view, but for some people for readability, I guess, you have with, with all the elements that could be easily understood, not even by Laravel developer. So that's another way. And then the fifth way that was suggested was this one by Davor, view model classes. For those of you who don't know, there's one of the patterns of separating the logic. For example, if in your controller you have quite a lot of manipulation of variables, but you don't want to pollute the controller for that, you can use something like a package from Spotty, Laravel view models. I may review it sometimes in the future. But basically you create a view model class with a lot of transformations and then in the controller you return that view model class which takes care of everything under the hood. So you kind of offload all the logic from the controller to somewhere and that somewhere may be view model class. Personally, I don't use that approach. If I have more complex logic, I usually use something like service classes, but this is also a valid way. 
And by the way, I'm discussing all those different ways in details in my newest course about how to structure Laravel projects. So I'm talking about form requests, service actions, traits, repositories, and all of that with the message that you may use any of those and it's your personal preference, your personal choice. You can watch that course. The link will be in the description below. And final thought that I wanted to mention comes from you guys from YouTube comments because I've posted that as a screenshot on the community platform for subscribers on YouTube and I really like this comment. In addition, I would do the fetching in a service so the controller stays testable. What does it mean? So instead of doing roles all inside of the controller here or inside like a separate sentence, you may create a service class or any class that would return the roles for you if it has more complicated logic. For just simple role all, I probably wouldn't do that, but it may give you the benefit that you may use unit tests to test that specific service class separately. So feature test would cover whether the index method of the controller returns status to 100 and everything is good, but then a separate unit test would test the service class whether it returns the correct data. So that separation of concerns is a good approach, especially if you have more complicated logic to get that data. And for those of you who are not deep into testing in Laravel, I have another few courses. This one is for beginners and another course about advanced testing. You can get it all as a premium subscriber to Laravel Daily.com. So yeah, that's all I wanted to discuss around that poll. I didn't expect that to blow up so much and be so popular with so many comments. But again, it is a great proof that if there are multiple ways how to use some structure or some code, it's your personal preference which one to choose. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.